So back up on the top of the tower, now the front of the shuttle is looking nice and clean. I need to come back up onto the roof and start getting a couple more jobs done up here. So one being obviously the dormer window, it's looking a bit worse for wear. So I need to start sanding it down, getting all that prepped, um, see if any of the wood needs repairing or filling. And then I can start looking at getting the first coat of primer on. And then I'll be able to get the undercoat on and the top coat on. So, yeah, that's going to be my job for today to start getting that done. But a couple of you were asking in the other videos how the roof's looking. Obviously, we've still got all the moss on, but it does take normally about a week to two weeks to start killing it off. Um, and we will be doing a second treatment on that as well. And then hopefully it'll look as good as the other side, which I think we've got rid of about 95% of the moss now which is brilliant really so yeah we'll be coming back up here to give our list a clean and then once we get the scaffolding down it'll be looking brilliant but yeah i'm gonna crack on with the window now to be honest it doesn't look too bad i think there's a couple of little cracks in the wood here um, the big one there so i'll be able to get all those filled and then once i start getting the coat of paint on it'll just all look as one there's a big crack in the centre where it's obviously just sort of split. You can see right the way at the top there, just where the two pieces have come away. So with that, like I said, I'll just use the two-part wood filler. Um, that's the best for stuff like this, especially for outdoor use. And then, yeah, we'll be able to crack on and get the window sorted and get it all painted. So I'll crack on now. I'm just going to use the detail sander and the orbital sander. Um, I think I've got about 60 grit there to start getting the most of the, the dirt off. And then I'll be able to go over with the 120 just to smooth it off. And I'll be ready for painting. And as you would have seen in the other videos, Paul has been sorting the roller shutter out from here, which we did want to keep because they're original to the chateau. Um, so she's been restoring them and then we'll be able to put those back up once we take the scaffolding down. So I will crack on now.
So Paul has done an amazing job with the windows, they're looking absolutely fantastic. So we're getting to the exciting part now where they're going to be installed soon. So it comes to me, get these spray painted, and I know we've done this before, but we go through a few steps. We clean everything down with methylated spirits because they don't look it, but wait till you see the actual dirt that comes off these. Um, so we clean it all down, let them dry off. Then I get my nice big compressor out, get my spray paint and get them done. I'll likely do probably four coats before I lacquer them up just to make sure that they're nice and even and they're exactly the, the colour and everything Terry wants. But it's just going to be so good to have these matching across the whole floor in, in the same colour. So I'm looking forward to it and I love doing this. And this is what I mean. If we don't do this, the paint doesn't stick and we have to do this over and over again. So just to get all this, the excess oil from when they've been welded together and been manufactured, we have to make sure that they're absolutely spotless before we start this process. Because otherwise there's literally just no point. So the exciting part now, all cleaned, ready to go, and it's time to paint them. And we've been really specific with how we do this one. We've we're using a specific brand. And the reason we use this brand is because it gives you the eight year guarantee with it. So this is direct to rust metal paint. Now these aren't rusty, but what it's gonna do, it's gonna prevent them from rusting. Um, we've used Hamrite before, we know you get a good 10 years out of it and hopefully longer because these are going to be inside. You can use these outside, inside and I can't recommend this particular product highly enough to work with. It's been absolutely brilliant and it's the same. We, we've got cheap thinners, we've got cheap turps, all that sort of stuff but with this, with it, we want it to be durable, we want it to long last so we use the Hamrite thinners. Again, absolutely superb. We thin it down so that it goes through the gun and here's one I made earlier. Um, we keep it in the glass jars because it lasts for months. Like the last time I did this was about three months ago. And this is my mixture from three months ago that can go straight in the gun. I can literally just get on and get all these painted. There's probably enough here right now for me to do all of these two, three times before I have to make another batch of it. So with this, when we make it up, we do a 10 to one dilution rate. So 10 parts of paint, one part thinners, and that's more than enough to get it through my gun. It keeps my gun working, it, it's not too thick, and it means that we get the perfect coat on this. And, and we've done this a new number of times now, so we know kind of what we're going for with it in the exact look. So we keep that dilution rate. Like I say, I pre-mix them ready, and then I can just go whenever we want to go. I'm going to crack on with that, get them all done, and they'll all be beautiful very soon. So I've got the second coat on the handles. As you can see in the background there, Terry's up there getting all the dormers sorted. I've been out here and I've been working on these. So I've got a first and second coat on them now. Now it doesn't look like much right now anyway. It looks a bit patchy and it doesn't look great, but you can see that it's starting to change and they're starting to get a nice color. And the reason that we use the spray gun is it's so much better. 
um, we don't get as much wasted you get a nice even coverage and by the time these are all done they'll start to look something like this and it's exactly the look that Terry's looking for so I'll let these dry off and I'll get a third and fourth coat on So I've came out today, the weather is absolutely beautiful. You know where I'm like, I love the glorious sunshine that we have here at the Chateau. And just to get out and do something, I've got the beautiful Chateau in the background and I wanna get out and explore this fantastic French countryside that we have around us. And it brings us on to the sponsor of today's video, which is Cyrusha. So this is the brand new Cyrusha tracks. Now, I haven't biked in years, probably 15, 20 years since I've been on a bike. I can't wait to get on this. Some of the features that are packed into this bike are absolutely unreal. The first thing is, it's, it's electric powered, so I think I can do 56 miles or 90 kilometers on a single full charge. Now, with the fantastic countryside we have around us here, it just means I'll be able to, I'll be even be able to go Ireland on and back, which is 20 odd miles away. So, to, to be able to do that and to have the freedom to do that on a bike and actually enjoy it, I can't wait. It's got a nine speed Shimano gear, um, which again allows you to get up the steep, steep terrain. It's got the power assisted with it as well. So as I cycle, it'll actually kick in and help me. Or I don't even have to cycle. I can just use the throttle and it'll take me up and down wherever I want to go. And it's got five gears in the power assist as well. So from one to five, if I just want a little bit of help, it'll kick in and help me a little bit. If I want a lot of help, then I can put it in fifth gear and it'll just take me all the way there. Um, really important with it the brakes it's got logan assisted brakes and um, hydraulic brakes now again when you go on at some speed and i'm sure this will do some speed with me cycling on it and um, to be able to stop is really important and i love the fact it's got logan disc brakes on it because i know that i'm going to be able to stop safely if i need to it's also got front and rear suspension air suspension at that as well so again we're out in the countryside this is an all-terrain bike so it means I can go up and down the hills, I can go off onto the field, onto the tracks, and I don't have to worry about it. Really easy. It's got 26 inch wheels, 26 by four inch thick. So it means that I really don't have to worry about where I'm going or what I want to do. And it means I can just take off, enjoy an afternoon out on my bike. So I'm gonna test it out now. I'm gonna see what I can do with it because I can't wait to get trying with it and just, just to see where I can go. So safety first, protect my noggin. Again, most important because I haven't been on a bike in probably 20 years, so God knows what this is going to be like. But it's also got a little light and a little horn, but it means I can drive safely on the night and I don't even have to pedal to start it. I literally, all I need to do is turn the throttle and away I go. That was amazing and I'm not even out of breath. Um, I can't remember the last time I had this much fun. It's There's so many cool things about it. Obviously I knew like the, what they put in and, and they tell us about it but seeing it for yourself and actually getting to have a go of it. It's got a fantastic LCD display so I can see the speed I'm doing. I can see how far I've gone. I can literally see everything with it. My maximum speed even just on a little run there was 29 kilometers but I can do up to 39 kilometers an hour. It also comes with torque sensors, which I'd obviously read up about that, but did not quite understand what that meant. And actually feeling it when you're riding, the harder I work is the harder that motor kicks in and works with me. Like I say, it'll get you to a top speed of 39 kilometers an hour, which for something like this, it's just superb. Um, I love the color blue. It's my favorite color, but it comes in a few different colors. I think you've got four options in the colors. and It's got a bright orange one as well, which looks really cool. Um, so me and Terry might have to get matching ones in the long run so we can go out on bike rides. Um, it, it's just something that's gonna, it, it is genuinely going to get me out and about this year. The battery on it, it it's so good. It's got a 52 volt battery, a 750 watt motor. Um, it delivers 80 newton meters of torque. So again, the pull on it, it is superb. 
So if we want to go out and we want to enjoy a nice bike ride, we can have a bike ride. You don't have to use the motors. Um, if you want a little bit of help, again, with the gear shift, the way that it is, it's got five different gear settings. So if I just put it in first, it'll give me a little bit of help all the way up to fifth. And it'll really, really help me ride along. And again, I'm not fit. Um, we might do all this lugging about, but again, bike riding is not something I've done in so long. So if you haven't done it and you want to get back into it again, this is absolutely superb. Check them out. There's a, there'll be a link in the description. There'll be discount codes as well. Again, a superb product and I'm just going to have so much fun and catch you soon. So I've got all of the window mostly sanded now, which it's looking brilliant. Um, just got a couple of little bits to get out with the grooves, which I've got a scraper for. But before I do that, I thought I may as well get some of the wood hardener on, um, just to fill in some of the gaps up there, and then that can get like it can go off and get set. Um, and then while that's obviously setting, I can go along and get all the little bits off. Well, yeah, it's looking good. It's not too bad, to be honest, in condition-wise. Um, just a couple of little bits that I need to fill in, and then I can get the first coat of primer on, which will be brilliant. But I'll show you now what I'm going to use for the wood filler and what bits I need to fill in. So, bits that I need to sort out is, so there's a big crack here, um, and then there's a little one coming down here, and it's just because the wood hasn't been protected, and obviously the moisture's going in, just split it. The rest of it's all alright, apart from that top one which has come away, so I'll be able to get some in there as well. And then the rest of it's looking quite good. But all I'm going to do is, I've got a two part wood filler. So because it's an exterior we're using, we're going with the run seal because it is a lot stronger and a lot better. But you can get it from Action here in France, which is like little smaller tubs um, of, of wood filler which is good and um, so all it is is just a sort of catty type wood filler so you do a golf ball size amount of the catty filler and then you do a pea size amount of the hardener mix it all together and then you don't have too long to work with it so don't do massive amounts so I'll just do little bits I'll get like that cracked on and then I'll mix another bit for that bit and then got a little in there and then I'll need a lot up there so just do a little bit at a time otherwise if you do big amounts you're just gonna waste so much so I will crack on now and get these finished 